Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, I post these videos every Sunday to share some meal ideas with you and to hopefully give you a little inspiration for the coming week. All of our meals are budget friendly and delicious, so make sure you're subscribed down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future dinner ideas. I also just wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers. We just hit 5,000. I'm super excited and I appreciate every single one of you. Now here's what we had for dinner this week. For meal number one, we had a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken with potatoes and green beans. To season our chicken, we made a little seasoning mix. This just has some salt and pepper, seasoned salt, paprika, lemon pepper, garlic and onion powder, and parsley. So we just bought something new. We just got this Emerald Air Fryer 360. It's an air fryer, a dehydrator, a toaster oven, and so much more. But the best part, it's a rotisserie. This was our first time using it and we were not disappointed. So we seasoned our chicken with our seasoning mix we made and we realized we had no butcher's twine so we had to google how to truss a chicken without twine. Then we got it onto our spit and into our magical new appliance. It seriously could not have been any easier. We just put it in there at 350 degrees and a four pound chicken takes just 55 minutes. So in our skillet, we have a few tablespoons of melted butter, some parsley, seasoned salt, and salt and pepper, and we're gonna add in some cubed potatoes. Then we added in half a package of bacon that we cut up and some frozen green beans. For our sauce, we combine some butter, half and half, lemon juice, parsley, salt and pepper, and minced garlic. Then we just threw that in the microwave to melt the butter and heat it through.
When our chicken was all done, we let it rest for 15 minutes and then added on our creamy lemon garlic sauce. I can honestly say that this was the best rotisserie chicken I've ever eaten. It was absolutely perfect. I'll have this Air Fryer 360 listed down in my description box in case you're interested in checking it out. For meal number two, we have a creamy lemon chicken and pasta skillet. We're using half a bag of egg noodles and we have a whole shredded chicken breast left over from our rotisserie chicken which you can also get from almost any grocery store. Then we added in about a half a cup of frozen peas and half a cup of frozen corn. Next came one can of evaporated milk, about two or three tablespoons of lemon juice, three tablespoons of butter, and enough water to cover the noodles. Then we just seasoned that to taste with some lemon pepper, paprika, sage, onion and garlic powder, salt and pepper, and parsley. Then we just pop the lid on and let it simmer until the noodles were cooked through about eight to 10 minutes. When that was all done, we added on some Parmesan cheese. This was a super quick and easy dinner and we just used what we had in the pantry and fridge and it turned out delicious. For meal number three, it was Cinco de Mayo and we made nachos. We had this al pastor taco meat from H-E-B that my dad gave us because to him it was a little too spicy. We just wrapped it up in some foil and slow cooked it in the oven at 275 degrees for about four hours. When it was done and tender, we shredded it up and added in some extra pineapple juice.
To go along with our nachos, I just made some canned refried beans and I added the drippings from the pork. To make our nachos, we have some tortilla chip bowls, some chopped red onion, sliced black olives, shredded lettuce, sour cream, and some Mexican blend shredded cheese. Adam also made some churros. We've made these on our channel before and I'll leave the recipe down below. I top my nachos off with all of the toppings, some guacamole salsa, and the refried beans and sour cream for dipping. And for the final meal of the week, we had some cheesy sausage and potatoes. We made another seasoning blend to taste with some salt and pepper, parsley, onion and garlic powder, seasoned salt, a little bit of cayenne, paprika, celery salt, and Tony's Creole seasoning. Then we sliced up half a package of cheddar smoked sausage and three medium russet potatoes. We sprayed our Dutch oven with some nonstick spray. Then we started layering in our potatoes, our seasoning blend, sausage, some hominy, and cheese. Next, we added in a can of evaporated milk and about a cup of regular milk. Then we put this in the oven at 400 degrees until the potatoes were tender. We just served this with some peas and butter bread and we had some super delicious comfort food. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to hit that like button 
And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. I post what's for dinner videos every Sunday.